And so here is the basil I came out with. Welcome back, everybody. We're making pesto. We're going to do squash fritters. We're going to make our pesto. And we're going to do a pasta dish involving chickpea pasta because I'm allowed to eat chickpea flour, just not in high quantities. So we're going with a quarter cup cashews, quarter cup pine nuts, and the pesto, or sorry, the basil. And put some lemon juice. I'm not trying to go too crazy on the nutritional yeast, okay? It's just enough so we can get the flavor. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt for now. So olive oil, I kind of eyeball because I'm looking for a particular texture on the, uh, on the pesto. I like my pesto a little bit more watery. Let's get started. I might have put too much nuts, but that's okay. What did I say we're doing? Okay, so yeah, let's work on the fritters. And we are just going to run the squash through the cheese grater. One of the things we're going to have to do uh, is eliminate as much water as we can. All right, so in the strainer, what we're going to do right now is we're going to add some salt because we need to salt this up anyway. This will just help us out with uh, leaching water. Uh, if ever you need kosher salt in your life, please use the Diamond brand. So let's get started on doing some check-ins. Alrighty, so we're gonna let this go and then we have two two more pieces of chicken and then we're finished You can just use all-purpose flour for yourself. So I'm using coconut flour. Just get, a, get some of that uh, excess off and We're gonna go ahead and fry this but Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little dark. It's okay. Take part of our pasta. We're not doing the whole thing Put in a couple of tablespoons of the pesto this is your time here to adjust for seasonings. I know it's like pesto on pesto was like overkill. I don't care. So for a picture's sake, we're gonna put a dollop on each. We are three for three, which means we did it, team. We did it! Oh!